Hello, I'm Dr. Jeff Golden. Thanks so much for joining us today for this special segment of Under the Microscope. My guest today needs very little introduction. It's Dr. Jane Mazur, who of course uh, is the director of our health securities program uh, here at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. Dr. Mazur, thanks so much for uh, being with us today. So, you know, it's uh, approximately uh, the end of the academic year and we're looking forward to uh, the summer and then the, the beginning of the fall semester. So, you know, we've been in this now for a year and a half together, both on the UNO campus and at the Med Center campus. And as you reflect back, what do you think are some of the most important lessons that we've learned as it relates specifically to uh, the Med Center campus? Well, I really think about our students and our faculty and staff and how, how they've responded. And one of the things that I really think about is we look at our case counts and they've been extremely low over the past several months. And I think that speaks to all of the precautions that we've taken, wearing masks and getting vaccinated. And I've been fairly new to this job here at UNMC, but really, really... Um, but worked very impressed. closely with Dr. C. Slack. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Who hasn't completely disappeared for all, yes. all of our, just for the record, right? Yes, but very impressed with, with uh, how we've really come together as a campus mm -hmm. to really solve, solve the issues, um, come together around how do we address this as a campus, and I think we're seeing the results of that now. So as we move into the summer and then into the fall semester, uh, we have put a policy in place that we're not requiring vaccination. Of course, we're strongly recommending it for all that are medically able to be vaccinated. But we have put a requirement in place regarding disclosure of vaccination status. And how's that gone so far? I know it's early days, but uh, what's the feedback been like? The feedback has, has been very positive. Uh, they, people are, are often very proud that they've been vaccinated sure. and really want to inform the campus so that we can uh, ensure that we have a safe uh, campus and that we have the information that we need in order to run the campus. And really, I would just point out that this is not any different from what we do for the influenza vaccine, mm -hmm. where we report on our influenza vaccine status every year. And by the way, measles and mumps and rubella, uh, hepatitis, uh, we ask people to report on their TB testing status uh, and, and so many others. It's all about just being a healthcare professional. Absolutely. You know, I think that there has been some misunderstanding because I think early on when we first described this, there was some concern that this was mandating vaccination. And although while we haven't mandated it, I think the statistics at uh, UNMC and Nebraska Medicine are quite high, well over 90% of our frontline uh, healthcare workforce, faculty and students are currently immunized. And just uh, not too long ago, uh, I saw some of the statistics on disclosure uh, of our incoming residents and fellows uh, from across the nation. And they were just a hair under 100% uh, immunized. And the ones that weren't were uh, one or two of the international fellows uh, that had done their core residency training programs elsewhere. And they were still in quarantine, and as soon as they get out of quarantine, they plan to get immunized. So, you know, uh, this is the definition of being a healthcare professional. You're 100% correct that we're not mandating vaccine, that we're requiring reporting of mm -hmm. your status, but um, the, we still strongly recommend that, that everyone gets vaccinated. And I'm very glad to hear that we have nearly 100%. Yeah, because that was one of our concerns, because these are young women and young men that are joining us from uh, all across the country. And I think it's worth pointing out that uh, almost all of the sites of clinical rotation for our students, whether they're at Nebraska Medicine or Children's or at any place even in our rural communities, always ask about vaccine status. And they're asking about vaccine status for COVID as well. So this is completely consistent with the way we've handled all of the questions about vaccination and uh, again, to me, defines professionalism. Absolutely, I agree. Well, I wanna take this opportunity, Dr. Mesa, just to thank you for all that you do. You've really helped us through this last uh, 18 months. Hard to believe uh, we've been hacking away at this for uh, 18 months. Hopefully the summer and the fall semester will be uneventful, but I do know this, that we have a great team of people who are working together, communicate well, 
and really do their very best. And, uh, and I'm really incredibly proud of that and, and very grateful to you for all that you've done. Thank you very much. Well, thanks for being with us today. And thank you so much for being with us today on this segment of Under the Microscope. Mm -hmm.